endodontic diagnosis. Endodontics is the branch of clinical dentistry associated with the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of pathosis of dental pulp and their sequel. That means any lesion of dental origin may resolve after root canal treatment. When is root canal treatment needed? It is needed when there is a breach in the surface of the tooth and caries enters and reaches the pulp to induce pulpitis. Diagnosis depends on accepting the patient, recognizing that he or she has a problem, determine the cause of the problem, develop a treatment plan to treat this problem. The diagnostician should have knowledge of the problem and how to treat it, interest and curiosity of the case, and patience. Systemic endodontic diagnosis depends on the history, which includes chief complaint of the patient, the present dental illness of the patient that brought him to our clinic, and the medical history of the patient, whether he has any illness that might interfere in our dental treatment. Clinical examination depends on certain vital signs, for example, blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is around about 120 to 80. Older aged patients may have higher blood pressure. Pulse rate should be around about 76 pulses per minute. Respiration has to be optimal. Temperature of the patient should be around about 37 degrees. Cancer screening is important to rule out any possibility of cancer. Pain history depends on certain parameters like examining the location of the pain, the type and intensity of pain, whether it is severe, moderate or mild, duration of the patient's pain, stimulus of the pain, for example, pressure, any change in temperature, and the relieving factors, for example, taking analgesics or any change in the temperature. Of exposure, it's the first direct contact with the pulp by the bacteria. It can be treated by direct pulp capping. There are other conditions that may involve the pulp. For example, internal resorption. This may be caused by trauma to the tooth that induces resorption inside the pulp. Root fracture that is caused by an external force that fractures the tooth. Periapical pathology that is made by bacteria entering through caries or malocclusion. 
malocclusion might induce a uh, necrosis to the pulp, and this necrosis will make a periapical pathology that makes a soft tissue uh, very evident, and after that, a fistula will happen to evacuate the pus.